Yo guys, welcome to today's video tutorial. This is actually not a video tutorial. This is just my experience on um, Facebook Creator Studio. So I wake up this morning and then notice that on my Creator Studio, I have a I have breached a policy on Facebook Creator Studio, and this is actually very alarming because. When I viewed everything, I had done nothing wrong. And if I check for anything wrong that I did, it is just because someone else re-uploaded my video. Actually, this is very funny. Someone else re-uploaded my video and I got a strike for it. Let me show you guys. Maybe um, I'm actually getting it wrong or maybe there is something else that went wrong apart from what I thought. So I opened Facebook dot com slash studio creator just like i normally do i'm already logged in so there is no need for me to log in and then you guys are going to see it. so um usually this is the dashboard it's taking a while to load now i come to the monetization i just wanted to confirm if i have reached the requirement and then um wait for it and the internet is a bit slow so usually i should be able to check the page um and enable and ability from here and then i noticed there is um this yellow icon right here so when i clicked on this i had to like swipe to this side click on this drop down area and then i still notice there is still this yellow icon right here so if i click on this drop down i'll be able to see what actually went wrong now um fortunately when i scroll down i notice um the monetization policies that i breached so i I had to click on that particular stuff to see the policy issue you have to click on this particular stuff to see the policy issue so when i click on that this is just what i found out hold on it's loading um this is very shocking when i actually read what happened because usually i should be able to just check my um i should be able to just check my dashboard and see what is actually going on and how long it's remaining for me to qualify for um the monetization stuff but and then i saw this yellow icon stuff so it's just something something i wasn't expecting and is on call for all right so this is the policy area you notice right there it says non monetization breach then when you scroll down to this section you are going to notice where it has this yellow icon that says other monetization tools may not um may not have access to additional information um may not have access to additional monetization tools now if you click on this read more so that you'll be able to read more and know what actually went wrong now there is a lot of information that says um shared content that was unoriginal on or or republic or repurposed content from other source with limited um added value and then it went ahead to say pages can only monetize content that are that originally or meaningfully enhance and if your page has no role um has no role in creating a piece of content and doesn't meaningfully alter its source that um contains um that contains violates or uh limited original originality policy below are most of the common behaviors flagged for limited originality now if you read through this section it says limited edi edition contents that the page did not film or produce with um with minor but not meaningful enhancements such as voice over commentary graphics or creative editing um that don't add that don't add value now you notice um the aggregating um if page complies to post videos um with multiple pages or or third party content creator now um it went ahead to say duplicative content content that already exists on facebook that um that the page had no meaningful role in creating um if i read this properly i think it it might be this one and i don't know exactly what went wrong but i know that most times i upload my video twice on my channel which is actually a mistake and sometimes i delete them and most time i don't delete them so i don't know exactly the reason why or where this went wrong or how this actually happened for me to have breached their monetization or their 
their limited originality policy. But this is something I'm going to file for because right now I didn't do anything wrong like re-uploading anybody's video or making use of anybody's voice. This is totally my voice. This is totally my video. These are all the video I created. Let me show you guys my video content. This is the exact video I upload on my video content on YouTube. And this is the same, the same video that I I have also uploaded on my Facebook page. There is nothing right there that I've uploaded or copying anybody. These are all my videos. Let me scroll down to show you guys even more of them. I think it's showing um, other channels too because the channel that was affected is this one. This is the channel that is affected. So if you look right here, all these videos are all the videos on my YouTube page also. So. There is no way that I can um, offend or come against anybody's rule. I don't upload anybody's content apart from my content. All these contents are all created by me. There is no way I am uploading anybody's content. So for some reason, Facebook actually got it wrong right here. So I don't know if anybody is facing the same challenge, but this is just all I can do right now. So I will have to scroll right there and say um, I have read and I understand and then I request a review because definitely I do not do anything wrong. So I'm just going to request a review and then um, it says it says um, review request submitted. A review request for limited originality of your content um, of your content will be notified when the review is completed usually two to three working days so i will have to wait for them to give me a feedback on this so anyhow this goes i'm going to make a video and let you guys know how this went but so far this is just what happened and there is nothing uniquely that i can do right here apart from submitting a request for a manual review so hopefully their team will be able to review this and then be convinced that i do not have anything wrong with my channel because i'm very sure i'm 100 percent sure i do not upload anybody's content so for some reason if you guys are having any issue like this this is just all you need to do so just scroll over to this section scroll right down and then um sorry not scroll right down just on this particular section click on the c policy it's going to bring you right here all you need to do is to click on the learn more once you click on the learn more you are going to notice this particular section scroll right down and then click on accept and then submit so once you submit it's going to take a while for them to review and then after they might have reviewed they are going to actually accept it and hopefully Maybe we have the same fate. Hopefully they are going to accept it because I'm very sure I do not re-upload anybody's content. And these contents that I upload are originally made by me. So guys, um, thank you guys for watching the video. It's not more like a tutorial because I ended up stressing a, mod, um, stressing a lot of what I experienced with Facebook recently. And I think it's very bad for anybody that is a content creator starting all over and starting afresh. And, and Facebook creator is actually paying too much attention to the young um facebook pages creators they are only paying attention to the popular channels i even sent them a message that i didn't get a feedback from until i submitted this right now the reason why i submitted this is just because i also want to help anybody that is also facing the same challenge to be able to solve this also so i hope this video helped you guys and if it did please smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel for more video i'm going to see you guys on my next video hopefully maybe when they have reviewed this if they did review it on time and stay safe guys peace